Good day, everyone, and welcome to FXDD webinar. Today, we have how to form the trader's correct psychology profile. My name is Nenad, and uh, we are starting this webinar with a risk warning, as always. <clears throat> Forex trading carries a high level of risk that is not suitable for all investors. Please have in mind that everything you see and hear from me is my personal opinion only. Before we start, also educate yourselves on the risk associated with the Forex market. You always need to assess a correct risk assessment before you decide to trade a live account. On these web addresses, sign up for more live educational and trading videos. Always the same time, several times per week, both Chris and I do live trading and educational videos. And today's agenda will be form the right habits, mind patterns, positivity exercise, breaking the bad habits, and overcome the fear. So these are topics that I'm going to show you today. And I hope that this um, educational session will really instill much more uh, confidence when uh, opening uh, positions. So the first is how to form the right habits. If you, over time, if you developed bad habits, that can be a big, big problem for you. Because you tend to repeat each time a bad habit is formed, you tend to repeat it, even unconsciously. I will show you that in the later example. So for you, it's the crucial to reset yourself and to form the right habit. It won't be an easy process. Well, once in a while, you will probably have, uh, well, again, the urge to repeat some mistakes that you might uh, actually that you might uh, drop but then again uh, with forming the right habits those mistakes that you have been making will be de uh, definitely they will be reduced to the minimum we all make mistakes but those mistakes should be at their minimum level the first thing is you need to trust your system why because that is what you trade you need to trust it. I know that many traders actually jump from a system to a system, trying to find a holy grail. And the thing is, holy grail is not just the system. It's the risk management. And until you master the risk management, you won't be having any success with any system. Because whatever system you trade, guys, you need to know there is no perfect method. My system, Camarilla MACD, is in between 70 and 80 percent successful. But if I, let's say, if I had been doing a wrong money management, bad money management, management, instead of positive account, I would have been in a loss. That is the problem. Many traders simply do not trust their systems. They have a system, they think that it works, and when there is a month or two months, of bad trades, they tend to jump from another system. That's a big, big mistake, and that, uh, that will lead you to nowhere. That is a bad habit. Searching for a holy grail, trying to get the perfect system instead of focusing on your mistakes and modifying the system or money management or risk assessment to see what you where you actually fail. Most of the time, of course, I'm not talking about those simple systems that you can find free on the internet. Usually, they are not so good. But considering that, let's say that you find something, you found something or you pay for something, it should be good. So it's not a problem the system. It's a problem in your money management, in your risk assessment, maybe taking too many trades, rushing the trades. All those mistakes are normal. I've been through that. So I'm, I'm speaking from my personal experience. So and the first thing you should know is drop your bad habits, trust your system, and try to form positive habits. When you form positive habits, what are those positive habits? Trade, uh, getting up early in the morning, guys. London session, uh, New York session, and Tokyo session are three major sessions. That is the time when you want to make trades. When London session closes, we still have New York session. But it's not that strong as when London and New York session overlap. Also, if you live 
let's say in Asian Pacific region, you might try Tokyo session, then you need to wake up early. That is when movement comes, guys. You need to wake up early in the morning. If you fail to actually, uh, if you fail to uh, capture the trade that has been forming during consolidation period, then probably you will be uh, late in a trade. You will tend to jump in, chase a trade, and it won't do any good. So you need to get up early, be focused, okay, and follow your plan. You need to have a trading plan. Each business has a business plan. You as a trader should have a strict trading plan. Follow it religiously. Follow your trading plan unless you want to make, of course, no one wants that, but you will make losses, guys. So you need to follow your plan religiously. If you want, if you say, I will risk 1% per trade, do it. Do not risk more than that. I don't care really if you have 100 euro account or 100,000 euro account. 1% of the risk is 1% of the risk. If you say that it is your maximum risk, follow it. Do not think that you are, after 20 winning trades, do not think that you are, uh, that you are basically, uh, that, you, you are, that, that, you, that you are the god of trading. You are not the god. You are not the, the, the biggest thing that ever happened in the market. You are just an ordinary trader who follows big money, smart money, big fish. So you need to be humble, respect the market, and do not risk more than 5% per day. If you do, you will be in danger zone, and it will be hard to manage those trades. Don't look for shortcuts. In this business, there is no shortcuts. In this business, it's only about correct psychology, correct money management, following the rules, and trading when you have a trade. Not when you think you have a trade. Live trading account is, in my opinion, the best way to practice. Why? Because live trading account will give you necessary uh, confidence for your trading. Guys, if you can make 2% on 100 euro account, you can make 2% on 10,000 euro account. That is because... It's, it's the same. You trade the same. Just instead of uh, trading 0 0.01 lot, you will trade with one lot. So, guys, it's about the risk. You need to remember one thing. We, traders, are trading the price. But what we actually trade in the core of this business, trading business, is the risk. So, we trade the risk. That is what you need to remember, what I'm telling you. Don't be afraid to lose, even when testing systems or methods on live account. Invest 200, 300 euros. You will spend it in, in, in the club. It doesn't matter, guys. You will buy a few things. You will spend 300 euros like this. It's, it's, it's so easy to spend it. So it's better to open a live account and invest. I opened a 10,000 account with FXD. I trade live. You can see my trading live, live trading webinars. And why? I would probably spend that money on some other things. So it's good, guys. What your, how much you can spend, it's your thing. But if you want to succeed, you need to put something, right? So if you lose 300 euros, it will not be the end of the world. Next time, next month, you will place 200, 100 or something like that. Eventually, guys, you will start winning. Okay? And then you will get deposit more. Okay, that is the thing how you should treat this market. Use compounding, adding profits to profits. Okay, and start small, increase gradually. As I say, if you can double the account, no matter the time, 200, 300 to four, 600 euros, you can start with bigger amounts and go slowly. Do not think that you will become millionaires after a single night. It won't happen. This is for, you need to be humble. You need to believe in yourself. You need to trust the market and respect it. If you don't respect the market, it will slap you. If you, if you get slapped too many times, you will get knocked down. And it depends on you how strong you are to actually rise again. So start small, increase gradually, and don't be afraid to losses. Losses are always controlled. That is why we have 
different types of stop losses always controlling our losses okay change your view of failure failure is not necessarily failure if i haven't failed many times in in my life especially regarding trading i would i would have known what success is it's about learning from your mistakes so change the, your view of failure you cannot say okay i am a bad trader i lost 10 trades in a row no just think twice why you lost it did you chase a trade each problem has a solution so if you lose trades if you lose the account don't despair just try to learn from your mistakes it's the hardest part i i haven't had any teacher in forex market all that i uh, have been doing uh, until now is what well, actually was it, it's just my personal experience and everything that i learned i learned from my mistakes so you should learn from me and i'm telling you what to do what not to do because only if you learn from your mistakes you can hope to become a successful trader reward yourself if you make money let's say you have 10000 euros and you made like 2 3000 or you have 50000 and you and you made 10000 reward yourself don't be afraid to spend that money because if you think that you will gradually always 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 make money each month no it won't happen sometimes we have losses we accept losses so if you made money pull it out withdraw it and reward yourself that's a good always a good thing to do when you make money buy something for you for your dear or whatever just reward yourself be honest with yourself you need to be honest if you have a loss just don't think that market is always uh the only culprit for your losses no it's not you usually it's you 80 percent of the time it's you 20 percent can be market some spike something that is out of the blue but usually it's you diversify your trading portfolio don't you don't guys you don't need to trade only euro dollar or pound dollar there are 20 30 different pairs i trade gbpn gbp new zealand australian dollar cat cat swissy cat yeah new zealand dollar cat euro cat euro dollar euro australian dollar gbp dollar guys the point is if you know what you're doing if you have a good system a good good money management you don't care if it's pound yen or euro dollar diversify your trading portfolio maybe you should not trade pairs that have bigger atr range like 200 or 100 pips then go with lower atr euro new dollar new zealand dollar something that has low atr it's suitable for beginners atr is crucial for intraday trading I, i've been repeating that many times but i don't know why traders don't use it it's so good to spot the range the volatility of a certain market learn to trade the risk before each trade you need to know your stop loss and then you decide how much lot size how uh, how big lot size should be within that stop loss that you put i use i know it by heart but i i started with using money management script so i always know let's say if if i want to risk one percent based on my stop loss and on my account what should be the exact lot size you cannot trade each trade with the same lot 0 0.10 or one lot or 0 0.20 30 no you base your entry lot size on your stop loss and the risk that is the calculation you need to know the stop loss you need to know uh uh you need you need to know uh the the, the maximum risk you're willing to take and then calculate the lot size okay we will also talk to about this on my other educational webinars these are mind patterns guys conscious mind we only use it 10 percent subconscious mind we use it 90 percent these are mind patterns and analysis things and plans short-term memory memory that is our conscious mind subconscious mind is 90 percent long-term memory emotions feelings habit patterns relationship patterns addictions involuntary bodily functions creativity developing stages spiritual connection intuition guys now when you think about this 
regards to trading this is more than 90 percent and now you we come to our entry point why you should develop good habits because your good habits will get into your sub subconscious mind also it's the same with bad habits if you already develop bad habits you need to drop it you need to reset yourself because your subconscious mind you will repeat and 90 percent of the time you will need to open another account because you lost the, the account mind patterns are very powerful thing so think about what i have to say, tell you guys i know that a lot of educational topics do not mention this this should be mentioned always it's about you yourself what you do is based on your subconscious not on your conscious especially when it comes to trading that is why you tend to repeat a lot of mistakes so reset yourself negative stress cycle always kicks in if you lose and that will that will be a pandemonium what is a pandemonium it is an english word for some demonic endless circle there is no way out of pandemonium and negative stress cycle can just bring you illness you will feel bad people around you will feel bad so your attitudes beliefs and assumptions are automatic thoughts if you are in a negative mood it just spins this circle it goes to negative physical symptoms maladaptive behavior ineffective social skills and the pinnacle of that is stress stress leads to worse diseases both physical and mental illness do not let it happen to you believe me guys that is why we need to develop good habits and definitely face the fear of losing the first step you need to do is so-called positivity exercise exercise being positive think positive no matter what happens to you guys think positive when i have a losing trade i won't swear i won't say peep out you know big or peep off why because it won't do any good think positive okay we had one loss we had another loss whatever next day we will have a winner next month will be better you need to be stress-free when trading if you're under the stress not just what i mentioned during the previous slide but you will tend to chase the market and you will tend to revenge your trades that is again subconscious mind and stress combined you always need to trade stress-free because stress won't do any good to you guys drop the risk okay you want to trade the market i agree it's a great thing markets are always good thing and trading bigger risk is well you will you will get more money right if you if you make if you if you are in a correct on the correct side of the market but what happens if you trade with high risk and once in 10 times you make a loss you will chase the trade you will revenge the trade you will swear you will you will be very nervous and you will make those mistakes that are reserved only for beginners no matter maybe you are an experienced trader but you will still make same stupid mistakes drop your risk instantly i start with either 0 0.5 or 1% of risk per trade i really don't care if i lose okay i lost yeah no problem with that but guys if i win that's that's even better because next time uh, my trade will also be with a lower risk another time if i lose i will slightly increase the risk i start with 0 0.5 i lost 30 pips no problem next time if i do one percent of the risk i will only need 15 pips to cover for the loss even if i lose that again no problem 1.5 percent of risk lost guys it's easy to manage but if you lost 15 percent well that's much harder and it will have an impact on your psychology work on your body i tend to exercise five to six times per week i don't care i always find one two hours for exercises why because it's good for me it is when i relieve my stress when i feel good when i renew my body and it's good five to six times per week maybe it's too much 
but at least try to go with three or four times per week. Work on your mind, read a lot, do crosswords, do some brain skill tests or brain skill game. You have it on Android phone. When I'm waiting for something, I usually pray brain skills. It, it will definitely pump my brain. Work on your mind. Educate yourself, guys. The world is not straight. You need to have a wider look. Because if you just see the tree instead of the whole wood, you will be blind. Work on your body. Work on your mind. We learn always. Learning is a never-ending process. We learn, guys, until we die. Our whole life is learning experience. Try to listen to core music. Do not listen to aggressive music that will pump your testosterone or that will pump your aggression. Listen to core music. I like metal music. It's okay. But when I trade, I like to listen to something that calms my mind. Binaural beats are a great thing. I don't have the time now to talk about binaural beats, but try to find it on the internet. Put your headphones, find binaural beats, and see if it helps you. It will definitely calm you. Do not swear if you lose. Speaking bad language, bad words is not a good thing. You send negative energy. You need to think positive, but not just that, act positive. And it definitely doesn't include swearing. Think that your trade will be a grand slam. Even if you see that your trade is dropping and it's not going in a, in a good direction, in, in desired direction, just think that this will be a grand slam. It doesn't matter. It still hasn't hit your stop loss. How many times it happened that my trade simply, it's very close to stop loss, but then it reverses and it goes in profits. And I say, this will be a grand slam. Think about it. Send this energy to the world around you. Talk in superlatives, but don't brag. You can be a good trader. You can be much better than me. I, guys, I, I don't go to competitions. I don't care. My business is to make money, to teach you, to give you my personal experience about trading. I don't care if someone makes 10 times more than, than me. You don't brag. This is not business for bragging. This is for professionals. Everyone has the right. Even people that lose money are right. Simply, it happens. We all we, we have losses. So don't brag. Just stop thinking that you are invincible. You are not. And respect the market. Market is there for us. And we are there for the market. It's mutual respect. Without the mutual respect, there won't be any success. You need to break bad. Breaking bad habits. Those bad habits are impulsive trades. Simply because the market is going up. You don't go when market is going up, guys. You need to change your way of thinking. That is why my methods are always multiple time frame based. When market is going up, I, I, I see that on higher time frames. I will drop my time frame and enter when price drops. Why? Because I want to buy dip when price goes lower and price is in uptrend i want to get a better price if if the trend is to the downside i will wait for it trace and then sell on the top do not make impulsive trades based on one single time frame exiting too quickly letting losses run it is only valid if you see that market went two pips far from your loss and then it reverses and made, gave you 10 pips profit then you can exit but it won't happen always. If your entry is suddenly in profits, like 10 pips in a minute or two minutes, five minutes, just wait, be patient. Do not exit the trade on automatically. Don't stare at the chart. Go away from the chart. You already made your entry, your target, your stop. Protect your profits, but not immediately after five minutes or two minutes if you are 10 pips in profit. At least 20 pips, guys, for intraday trading. Unless market is doing nothing, then you can do with whatever you want. If, if the market is sideways, it's not a problem to take two pips. But do not exit too quickly if there is volatility in markets. Now, if you make money on a bad trade, what, it, what does it mean? It means that, let's say you made some nice 
entry and it, it, it instantly went 10 pips in profit but suddenly it goes down well it's not that good but still it reverses wow you say well, okay this was a very good trade no it wasn't good trade it doesn't mean that it was a very good trade because it, it missed your stop loss for one single pip probably it was not but why it doesn't matter profit or loss the point is here the trade was not part of your plan and still make money that is a failure failure so if your system told you to go long but you simply waited and you see that the price is dropping and you shorted it okay your system wasn't right but you shorted it you were right it's not a good trade because again you don't trust your system that trade was not a part of the plan it's a failure it's not success you need to properly define success not to think if you uh, that end justifies the means it's not in this business okay because long term you will lose short term you can make success but long term you will lose if you lose money on a good trade it doesn't matter because the trade followed the plan that is how you develop good habits if you went up if you went long and your stop is hit do not immediately 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 open a short trade again that that will not be a part of the plan and it was not a good trade you made a loss treat it as a success because you followed the plan so if you follow the plan and you make a loss it's good because that is one of the first steps towards being totally independent and depending on yourself your method and analysis and risk management it's one step towards developing good habits making money by holding a position without a stop loss is not advised simply because okay you you don't have to use stop loss right but how much how much risk you're willing to take if you want to risk the whole account it's not trading i always say i don't use hedging why would i use hedging if i if i have a stop loss i always use stop loss it doesn't matter put a certain number of risk in that stop loss you can put two percent of the risk in thousand pip and in 10 pip stop loss it's just the battle of lot size in your account jumping in out revenge trading the worst thing that you can do guys jumping in out you lose a trade you open another you lose a trade you open another just chasing the market revenge trading jumping in and out is closely related to this forget about it that way you will lose the count in two hours so simply follow the rules do not chase do not revenge and learn to accept losses risk 0 0.5 1 2 percent maximum but do not cross five percent per trade because if you do you will be in the danger zone that is a crucial thing in trading start with smaller risk you lose a trade slightly uh, uh, slightly raise the risk but you need to cover for losses so 0 0.5 one two percent is the way to go if you cross five percent it will be hard to manage it overcome the fear my question what is the worst that can happen stop loss right what is the best that can happen target price hit but if you cannot accept the worst you should not take a position guys then it means that the trading is not for you overcome the fear you know the risk why would you be afraid to risk one percent or two percent of your account this is trading you need to risk if the worst happens you will still be okay because your risk is low so overcome the fear these are simple questions and answers you won't die because your stop loss is hit guys it's it's stop thinking about it it's something that it shouldn't happen open a small account trade with micro lots i did it many times especially when i trade the account i for example have uh, i i try to trade counter trend with also and with expert advisors whatever and i had losses now when i make another trading module for counter trend i will invest 200 euros and then i will see if if it can make one two three percent in two three months great i will trade it so open a small account trade in micro lots if you can make the profit within the risk limit you can do the same with more money 
It means that if you can make 2% on 100 euros, you can make 2% of 100,000. Try breaking your position up into three smaller positions for the same trade. It's called scaling in. And I always do it, scaling in. If you cannot trade consistently with $50, you won't be able to do it with 1K. Guys, it's about the risk. Nanolots, whatever, microlots, trade it. Bring your account from 100 to 110 euros. You still made money. You still are in positive territory. Same thing you will do with 1,000 or more. And in my personal opinion, fear is best faced when trading small, smaller live accounts. That is how you best face the fear. And in the, and the, in the Camarilla, make the example with counter trend, I told you. I already told you. I didn't have success with counter trend. I will make it with small account. And if I can do it on 200, I will be doing it on 10,000 euro. But this is for you. I, this, for me, it's the test if I'm doing things correctly. This is a remedy for you. Start small. It doesn't matter how much you earn. Calculate the percentage. The same percentage you should be able to do with bigger account. Just instead of 0.1 lot, you will trade with 0.5 or 1 or 1.5 lots. I hope that this helped you. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me. Uh, I think that everything is clear. This webinar is being recorded. It will be uploaded to YouTube channel, so you will be able to watch it as many times as you wish. I wish you a great trading day. Uh, and of course, as always, guys, cheers and trade safe.